Hmm. Yeah. All right, story time is that I was 21 and wanted to do a body modification as a form of self-expression, and I hadn't seen this on anybody else, so it felt unique and like my own. That's why I got it done. I think it's the second least common piercing or something like that, because I won't go for the first. Mm, this is a photo of me uh, immediately having, <laughs> after having it done. I hope you can see the date down there. And then some time later, it was still pretty significantly swollen, so... Then simultaneously, a couple months later, I was a cringy millennial discovering uh, lip plumping, so there's that right there. For everyone asking how I change it, and if you can tolerate my goblin hands, uh, this is a hindering, so it closes and snaps shut like so. Um, it is a pain in the butt to change, I will admit to that. So yeah, I approached it how I think most people approach their tattoos, is that they want something that feels like their own and that's unique to them, and that's why I did it. All right, continuing on, um, it didn't hurt when he pierced it because he had it clamped, but when he unclamped it and tried to push the jewelry through, that pinched quite a bit. Um, it did stay swollen for a while afterwards too, so for a couple months. Um, I looked goofier than I do right now, so, you know, there's that. It I don't see it when I try to look at it, but sometimes when the sun shines on it just right, I think there's like a bug flying past my face, like there's, it gleams a little bit and kind of freaks me out. And then I do have a seamless ring in it now, but I've had um, the one with the little ball in it or horseshoe in it, and those all worked perfectly fine with me and didn't bother me at all.